We have seen a few weeks ago large neighborhood search. Large neighborhood search was a technique to, to do a hybridization between local search and constraint programming. And the idea is that uh, we would uh, have a kind of for loop that will iteratively relax a part of the problem, which consists at fixing the, the decision variables to the value that they have in the current best solution. And then we re-optimize with a bunch of decision variables that has been relaxed, which means that the domains of these variables has been uh, restored as they used to be in uh, the declaration of the problem. For scheduling problems, a very frequent objective function is the make span minimization. Make span minimization is this. You want to schedule a bunch of activities with a given capacity. You want to minimize uh, the make span, which means the ending time, the time of the latest activities, which will be defined by the blue activity here. Okay, and the decision variable will be the starting time of the activities. And so what does it mean to do large neighborhood search for scheduling problems? It means this, is this that you will have a for loop with a number of allowed restarts and you will optimize subject two and you will fix randomly some of the activities to the current best value that they had. And this is what we have defined for the quadratic assignment problem. And the question I ask you is, do you think that it would also be good for scheduling problems where we want to minimize the max span? So I will try to convince you that it's a very bad idea. Okay? Because fixing some variables for scheduling problem, uh, it's a too rigid relaxation for scheduling problems. For scheduling problems, we need a way to improve the order and the insertion of the activities. And if you fix randomly some activities to the time that had before, you, you may not have a chance at all to improve the objective function. So assume, for instance, that you have relaxed these activities and these ones are the ones that are still fixed. Okay. What you can clearly see is that because the blue one is still there, I have no chance at all to improve my max span. Okay. So I'm very unlucky in this case because I'm not able to improve the, the, the max span of my schedule. And the reason again is because this is a too rigid relaxation. Okay, it's not a good idea to fix the starting time of the activities from one restart to the next. Instead of that, what we prefer to do in scheduling is fix a partial order schedule. A partial order schedule is that we will impose some precedences over the activities. So instead of fixing the starting time, we will post some precedences that exist in the current best solution. So assume this is the current best solution. Okay, this is the current best. I will create this precedence graph. Okay, because I see that you see that the blue one is coming after the pink one. And so I have this arrow because the blue one is coming after and so this one is coming after and so on. So I have this graph with all the precedences that can be deduced from the current best solution. And I will randomly remove some of the arcs here that are present in my uh, precedence graph. And I will relax some precedences, but other ones, the other ones will remain. Okay, I will impose them. So clearly I'm keeping the structure of the current best solution, but I still allow it to have some flexibility to improve, improve later the max span, for instance. Okay. 